Hello everyone and welcome to video number 4. After watching this video, you will be able to define what is a compiler, what is an interpreter and give a few examples of compilers and interpreters. Let us uh, begin the lecture. We know that a computer understands only machine language that is a language of zeros and ones. And a human being does not know machine language very well. It is difficult to program and he speaks English with a little bit of mathematics embedded in between. That is, a computer expects instructions in machine language and a human can give instructions in English. That is the problem. There is a mismatch. Computer understands machine language. Humans speak English. What do we do then? The idea then would be to use a translator in between as shown here. So this guy speaks in English. It is translated into machine language and is fed to the computer. That would be a nice and uh, cool solution. Okay. Now there are two types of translators. One is called a compiler and another one is called a interpreter. We will try to see what is this compiler and what is this interpreter. This may look slightly confusing for right now but try to remember as much as uh, you can. Don't worry about it. Uh, just take a note. Go ahead in the video lectures. Watch the next videos or if you have further questions you can ask in the class. Okay. Then um, <clears throat> Let us see what a compiler is. We will again begin with the scenario. A computer understands only machine language. That is zeros and ones. So on to sequence of zeros and ones. This document is called executable document or executable code or low level language. We have seen that a computer understands only low level language. And human can understand and speak only in a language that is shown here. That is English embedded with mathematics. Okay, So this document is called a source document or high level language. And a machine understands only low level language. In this scenario, a compiler is one which takes a high level language that is a source code whole source code is read and translated into a executable document. So when you use a compiler, you have a source document, you have an executable document. If something is happening like this, this kind of translator is called a compiler. Let us look at another scenario. In this scenario, again, we know that a computer understands only machine language and a human can issue instructions only in English coupled with uh, mathematical uh, equations and symbols such like. We have seen that this is called source document or high level language. Whatever computer receives is low level language. Now the situation with interpreter is that it takes one line at a time. That is it takes A is equal to 2 plus 3 find out what is the equivalent machine language sentence, gives it to the computer. Then take the second sentence, gives it to the computer. Third sentence, fourth sentence, and so on and so forth. That is, interpreter translates one line at a time. There is no executable document. This is the second type of uh, translator. Generally, these languages, Fortran or Pascal, or C that we are going to study, these are compiled. That is, there is a low level document, there is a high level document. Whereas basic, Lisp and MATLAB, they are interpreted languages. There is no machine language document. So in summary, we see that uh, executable language, machine language or low level language uh, is a language of zeros and uh, bits, the, the language in which humans talk is high level language or we call it source code. 
translators convert HLL into LLL. Compiled languages are Fortran, Pascal, and C. Interpreted languages are Basic, Lisp, and MATLAB. That's all we have for now. Have a great day. Thank you so much.